Hi guys, welcome to today's reading on who is lying to you and why. So for group one, we have this blue calcite, Merkaba star, and servant. For group two, Labradorite and Don Juan. Group three, Petrified Wood and Slave. And for group four, we have this Calcopyrite, this little baby one, and Guide. So go ahead and select your palette using your intuition. The timestamps will be posted down below. Hi, group one, those of you who picked this Merkaba star, this blue calcite, this is your reading on who's lying to you and why. So right off the bat here, we see companions. So this is definitely, I'm getting someone that you spend time with. Um, it could be a friend, but it could also be um, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, uh, just anyone that you're in a relationship with, uh, but someone that you're very close to. I feel that this person is, with this card right here, with Dr. Doom, control at all costs, I, I feel that this person has a very, like I feel like sub, on a subconscious level, they, they can be very doom and gloom, and they have a lot of worry and anxiety. Um, you know, and I'm getting that with this trust the timing card, Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. And so with these two cards together, I'm getting that this person is is very anxious. It's like an anxious sort of thing. Um, they don't want things to change. We have the tower here in reverse. They don't want things to be uprooted. They don't want your relationship to be uprooted. And I feel that this is something that they think about um, quite often. Um, and it affects the decisions that they make. You know, I'm getting this with this two of wands. It's like, see how she's here holding the globe? Um, it's it's just a, sort of like in the early planning stages when you're holding something and you're, you're reflecting on it and you're thinking about it. And I think that this is sort of the basis for uh, the actions that they take with you um, in, you know, speaking to you. And I, and I see them as being very, with the servant card, is there, they're kind of like, I don't want to say that they're a servant to you, but it's kind of giving like a people pleasing type of energy where, um, you know, with here, I, I love my food, my food loves me. I'm seeing that as something that they try to control. It's like, you know, if you love something, you want it to love you back. If you need something like food, you want it to be available. You want to hold on to it. And I could just feel this clenching of my wrists right now of they have this grip on you where they really, really want to hold on to you. Um, and this is just the basis for which, you know, uh, they, they, approach you um in the things that they tell you you know here with empowerment and reverse the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through source so i'm feeling the sense of disempowerment from them um like i said anxiety um you know just this just tight grip that they have on you and it's because they I, I want to say they really love you, but it's, it's, I'm feeling like, how can you love somebody, but be so anxious and afraid? And I, and the thing is now I'm thinking of things that we really, really like, or that we really want, we want to hold on to it. Um, so it's like, I can understand that, but then there's a point where it crosses over into, um, just a really strong attachment. I'm getting a really strong attachment for this person. Uh, and you know, with this getting for more information, card here I'm getting the sense that you know I'm getting this situation where say you go and you ask this person something and you know they have to take a moment to think like okay how can I put this in a way um, how can I please this person how can I be kind of like in not servitude to this person but it's like really trying to serve that attachment that they have for you as opposed to speaking the truth for you um and speaking from their intuition and, and what they can because i get the sense that they're also very intuitive with intuition in reverse and even with this Mar Merkaba and the blue calcite it's a very calming energy it's like they really want to calm you and i feel like there's something about them where they are intuitive 
Um, but there's something that holds them back from sharing those insights with you because they don't want to uproot the relationship or they don't want to disturb it in any way. Um, and they want to um, have you love them as much as they love you or have you be attached to them and need them as like a calming kind of source in your in in your life as much as they feel that for you. They want you to feel the same way that they feel about you or have that same attachment to them. You know, that's what I'm getting because I, f I feel like even with this, um, this eye of envy right here, I don't know. I, I get this feeling like maybe their attachment to you is a lot stronger than it is, um, that you have for them or they sense like a sense of empowerment with you. So I'm getting this message too with get more information that it's important, I think, when you are talking to this person, because I feel like they do lie to you a lot, you know, um, and it it's, you know, it's done for the reasons that I've mentioned already. But, you know, if you ask them their opinion on something, you know, get more information from them, you know, ask further questions, ask more details, um, let them delve more deeply into it because I'm getting this feeling of this person just sort of giving like these surface level responses um, at times that are like affirming for for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do I explain that better? Um, okay, here's an ex example. It just popped into my head. Say you're not exactly the healthiest person, right? Like, you know, um, and you need to and say maybe you're overweight or there's you have some health issues you know this person could come in if you ask them like hey do you think that i could um you know improve in this area or that and they'll be like no you're perfectly fine you're you you look beautiful you da 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 meanwhile there is room for improvement and and they say those things because they they care for you and they want to see you also um, sort of like at peace with yourself um, and so then that way they can feel at peace it's almost like hmm, I don't know I don't want to say this is like a, a deep, deeply em empathetic person as well I'm getting that as well with their intuition being very strong and I and I feel that they're codependent I'm getting a codependency sort of vibe um, from them but there's a lot of control that that comes in into that and I and I think that if you were to ask them more follow-up questions they'll start to reveal more of what they actually do think and then you'll start to see where um, you know you'll start to see where there's kind of holes in what they're telling you so with this with this person um, you know some people would call these white lies um, and sometimes it's the people that are closest to us. I just got enabler. I, I got that this person's um, an, an enabling type of individual. And this could be also when it has to do with things around money. Um, so I just saw this using the lack of money. So lack of money started popping out. So if, you know, this is another example. If, you know, you're struggling financially and this person can come in and say, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with being uh, not poor. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, we have enough. We don't need any more. We're good as we are, um, you know, and giving these sort of sorts of messages. But when really you are lacking money and maybe you do need to work on finances, for example, to move forward and to empower yourself a bit more. So this is the type of energy that I'm getting from this person on, you know, you know why why it is that they lie to you and this is somebody very close to you um and i think on some level they obviously do know that they are lying to you but they're doing it in service to you um you know i think that's how they see it uh and you know this could be like i said a very deeply emotional person so this is someone that is very close to you um someone that really loves you someone that really needs you and i feel like this is a really deep deep need it's borders on codependent and you know an anxious maybe attachment as well i got so so yeah so that is your reading group one i hope you liked it if you did please leave a like comment subscribe i will see you guys in the next video take care bye okay hi group two those of you who picked this labradorite this is your reading and don juan so who's lying to you and why so with this don juan character 
um, spots, spotlights your positive seductive qualities using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. So I'm getting a very big private agendas with this. So I'm getting that this is somebody who, for some of you guys, I feel like you're healing from this person. Um, you know, this was somebody who pursued you romantically or you thought so that it was romantic, but this person just turned out to be looking for either sex or some had some other ulterior ulterior motive behind why they pursued you. Um, and, you know, I think you were really deceived by this person because here we have deflection and bells and I'm getting like this person had all the bells and whistles, you know, they had what you thought, you know, because with this Queen of Cups, I'm getting this really feminine energy with new begin beginnings as well. It's like, um, I don't know, I'm just getting this feeling of really being seduced by this person. You know, this could be the situation for some of you guys where you, this person was just really looking for sex but portrayed it a different way um, because maybe there is a very feminine energy about you, a very angelic sort of quality about you um, and something that they were just really attracted to. And so, you know, I'm getting this message of too is that you know, there's different messages here because I, f I feel that the viewers that are tuned into this are at different stages of this experiencing this person. Some of you guys are in the process of um, just interacting with this person and sort of questioning, like you still have not experienced um, the outcome of it, whereas some of you guys have experienced the outcome of, of it and are going through this process of um like trying to recover from it, you know? So for those of you who are sort of at the beginning stages of experiencing this person or encountering this person and this person's coming to you, trying to sort of seduce you, going for what they want, um, there's this message here to be positive um, that you don't necessarily have to be so overprotective of yourself, but you do have to protect yourself, you know? Um, you don't have to be, well, not overprotective, what's the word that I'm trying to say? You do have to protect yourself, but you don't have to be so overly cautious with this person. Um, because this person I get like deflects. So this is a, you know, like that's kind of sweet talking kind of person. But when you, you know, really, I don't want to say interrogate them, but when you really go deep with the questions, they find ways to deflect, right? So that's what I mean by you don't have to be overly cautious, but you have to uh, protect yourself, you know, um, by by not just going off of what they they say, because, you know, the whole intention is to sort of have this seductive quality on you. And so, like, like I said, I am really getting this very um, ethereal angelic very feminine um energy and you know getting that this person is very masculine and so there's this attraction that happens and sometimes i feel like with these people who are you know some of them could be sex addicts i'm just getting this really strong like sexual energy from them um like they don't necessarily care uh you know if you're like the type of person that you are, like they just want what they want, you know, and you could be this great person who's going through all this healing. And, you know, I'm just thinking of women who say like, oh, how could this person do this to me when I'm going through this, um, this transformational process in my life? And they knew I was going through this, blah, blah, blah. I just get this feeling that this person um, doesn't care. They're just attracted to you. And there's like this sex addict type of energy. And for the others of you, I'm getting that, um, so that's what they're lying to you about and that's what they're not really showing you what their hidden agenda is but i'm getting like to stay positive i, I almost feel too for the for those of you guys who are on the other end or later down the timeline of this would this remain positive and this message goes to those who are at the beginning and those who are at the end because i'm getting this feeling that this does not necessarily end well with this person in particular but it ends well for you here we have self initiation in reverse and transformation in reverse and i'm getting that this is what's coming up or um this is what you're going through right now with self initiation i'm getting this feeling of like you know you know how they say like things come into your life to teach you something 
Um, and for, like I said, some of you guys are very gentle, very gentle, empathetic type of people. And with this resilient, bold, sassy card right here, Tau Setians, and the number three, I'm getting that you're creating more of this assertive and bold energy with yourself so that you know how to, um, it's not know how to, but practice that ability to be a little bit much more cutthroat in your decisions. Um, because maybe you are picking up that this person does have this hidden agenda or isn't being fully truthful because of the way that they deflect. So, um, I think that in the future, you're going to be a lot more, um, like, Hey, this is my choice and I'm going like, you're just going to be a little bit more firm and bold and sassy and resilient and able to bounce back from certain things. So this is what I'm getting is with this remain positive is um, that there is this transformation that you are going to be either undergoing, um, you know, through the assistance of this person, um, you know, and we're talking about from like an energetic, spiritual sort of way. Um, or after, after the aftermath of this. And for those of you guys who have experienced this, I'm getting like there's a lot of, you know, this person took stuff from you. I'm getting this feeling of this person taking. And with this Labradorite, it's like, you know, this recovery or this regaining of strength or this regaining of energy. And that's what I'm getting with this is like you're going from this Queen of Cups, this new beginnings picture right here that we have of this just really, I don't know, it's just a gentle, such a gentle energy to this resilient, bold and sassy sort of energy. So this is the person that's lying to you. It's someone that, you know, you very much, I just heard it's like music to your ears. You know, this person is like music to your ears. It's like all the bells and whistles. Um, and they know that. Um, and I think that they are like really trying to tap into that and, and try trying to say all of the right things. Um, and I think there's a, a manipulation I'm also getting with this stay positive is is like they're like oh, how do I put it like you know when somebody tries to like reverse something on you where it's like oh you're just looking at it the wrong way or no that's not what I meant at all it's like when somebody comes on to you but they do it in such a subtle way that um it's, it's called a double entendre i think that's what it's called where they can say something to you and it literally has two different meanings and if you take it this way it means this if, it if you take it that way it means that and so they're like i think in certain situations they'll they'll play kind of both ways so then that way they can say no no i didn't mean it like that right um because like they are trying to get something from you or it's for you some of you guys like you said they've already got it from you um and so so yeah so this is why this person is lying to you um i guess you know from a spiritual standpoint is um is like with self-initiation transformation is like you guys are undergoing this transformation and and this is just somebody that was sent along your way to make you more uh, bold and resilient and uh, assertive. I'm really getting assertive with this because, you know, you guys are very like, I'm getting this very feminine, um, loving sort of energy. And sometimes you got to pull out your swords. And uh, yeah, so, so that's your reading group too. If you like the reading, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Okay, hi, group three, those of you guys who picked this petrified wood and the slave card, this is your reading on who's lying to you and why. And so I'm getting that this person that is lying to you is a lover or someone that you've had a really, really tight relationship with. Um, and I, like the feeling I'm getting with this reading, you know, with this three of pentacles in reverse and counsel and a year from now, and the fact that this says vibrant health or recovery from an illness. I don't know why I felt like this said mental illness. It doesn't. So it was probably just something in my mind. So for some of you guys, because this is a very sort of confusing energy to read. Um, and, I, and I'm getting that this is the energy from this person um, is like, like sort of like a mental illness or they're going through something where they want to be alone. Um, and I'm getting that like, they're sort of lying about, um, they're lying about what they're going through, uh, you know, 
you know, especially with the slave card here, I'm getting like that they're sort of a slave to this notion that they need to be alone right now with waxing crescent moon i'm getting this thing of time you know with a year from now with this waxing crescent moon in reverse so this is something that's emerging right now and maybe that it's like these feelings of wanting to be alone because the waxing crescent moon is just at the very beginning um and you know it's like the seeds are are there um that there's some healing or there's some I don't know with this green I'm getting and this heart I'm getting this healing or something that needs to heal um, and they want to make that choice to to go it alone and here we have strength in reverse so I'm getting that this like weakness or this um, I don't want to call it a weakness but like that's sort of how it's coming across or it's like them perceiving themselves as being weak and needing to be alone in order to regain their strength and regain sort of control over themselves or their lives um, because I'm getting this feeling of like with this tree people and sustenance is um, is like I don't know it's like they want to use they think that they can sort of like bring themselves up with this golden unicorn I'm getting that this person is very unique um, this is a very unique person. Um, like and when I say unique, I mean in the sense that they have ways about them that can be misunderstood. Um, and so and and you know, and I think part of that misunderstanding comes from the fact that maybe the communication isn't isn't quite clear. And I'm getting that with tree people. I'm getting that with calling cards from heaven. It's like this very, um, you know, I'm getting these like energies like tree people and, you know, like, you know, these energies that aren't concrete. They aren't things that, quote unquote, make sense to the logical mind. I don't think that this person um, really knows what's going on. And here we have counsel and I feel, too, that they need help. Like they need a counselor. They need help. Um, they have a lot of fears. But with calling cards from heaven and a year from now. Um, and this waxing crescent moon, I'm getting that whatever's going on, if they're pulling away, oh, I just I just thought of um, somebody right now. I have a friend who was telling me about one of their closest friends sort of drifting off and them reaching out to them and not getting much replies back, them wanting to meet up with them and just wondering what's going on. And I And I know that you know, in my mind, I was thinking like, well, maybe there's something, it's not necessarily something that you've done. It's something that this person's going through that they're not ready to talk about. And they literally want to be alone or they want to, you know, here you could see um, the steam coming out. It's like there has to be a way for this steam to be released for them. And it has to be done alone or through the counsel of um, a healer or something. Um, and here it's petrified wood. So I, that's what I was getting, something about like being afraid. Um, yeah, so it's a, like that is who's lying to you and why. It's just sort of this feeling that they're they're going through something. They don't really know how quite to pinpoint it or how to identify it. They just know that they need to be alone. And um, I don't know if they just don't have the words to articulate it. Um, but I, I'm getting like, they feel very unstable, um, you know, with sustenance in reverse and with this petrified wood, with what I'm thinking of like the root chakra right now, um, just not feeling grounded, not feeling themselves, not feeling rooted. Um, and, and they're just at the beginning stages of that. So, you know, and I'm even seeing that again with this, this picture that she's drawing. It's like she's just at the beginning stages of, of really writing this out and trying to figure out what it is. And I don't know why I said she, but maybe it's a female. Um, but yeah, so, so, th so that's the reading. So, you know, maybe they're making excuses f with you. Um, they're telling you things that sort of don't add up. But I feel like this person will be back um, once the steam is sort of released or I'm getting it as something that has to be released from their energy. Um, and they need counsel or they need a counselor. They, um, 
I feel like that is what they do need. But, you know, maybe it's something that they have to pursue on their own. Um, Because I'm seeing this image of this woman here and it looks like she's doing acrobatics. And sometimes I feel like when somebody's not well or somebody's going through something we can and they're they're sort of distancing themselves we can start to do gymnastics to try and help them and try to do the most to like help them um move past it or or change or transform or whatever but i'm getting that you know it's not the time for that um it's not the time for that so so yeah so that's that's who's lying to you um and why you know so they're definitely going through something so so yeah, so that's your reading group three if you liked it. Oh, and sorry, I have to say this because for, for some of you guys at the beginning of this reading, if you made it this far through, I was picking up group two energy. Um, so check out group two. I mean, I just did group two. It's a very totally different reading. I feel like maybe some of you guys may think that, um, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but you may think that this person falls into one category, but really... They fall into this category or anyways maybe maybe that's just my interpretation but check out group two if you if you um thought to pick it as well all right if you like this video please like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next reading take care bye okay hi group four those of you who picked this calco pyrite it's actually this little baby one um but i brought the big one that this one broke off of uh for the video but this was the one that i was actually drawn to uh, and pick the guide card. This is your reading on who's lying to you and why. Uh, so this is like the other pile um, in the sense that this is sort of like, um, I don't want to say it's an unclear message because it's not. It is a message that isn't straightforward in the sense of like, it doesn't follow like a logical sort of thing. It's like, it's kind of like mushed together. I'm getting this very watery type feeling um, where it doesn't have a beginning and it doesn't have an end and that's what I'm getting with round and round and radical acceptance so first of all this is somebody um, who you know either you because I'm seeing this machete um, there's a, been a cutting off so the same way that this little rock broke off this bigger rock and it was because I dropped it so something painful so um, either for the both of you, one of you, um, you know, and that's what I get from this 10 of air. This is the 10 of swords, the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now recovering from addiction. And so, and with addiction, I'm getting, um, a, like a strong attachment. And so this is sort of like the mother rock and the baby rock that had to break free from it after like a painful ending or a painful experience. Um, or a situation where things were just going round and round in circles. Um, and, you know, I'm getting that this is like a pattern, you know. I just heard like make up and break up. Um, and here I'm getting that round and round as well with this these infinity uh, signs. So I'm just going to burn some sage. So, so, like, I'm getting like two messages. Like, oof, whoa. I almost burnt my finger with that and so yeah um it was like a big flame and then it just went out and it kind of burned me along the way so this is somebody who um yeah it was it was painful you know you got burned um and why like why they lied to you i feel like Again, like I'm saying, this is this is not clear. Like, you know, here we have peace pipe in reverse, and we have this champion of vessels, this backpack. I don't know. I'm just getting this feeling of like this person just like up and left, or just abandoned. Like I'm I'm seeing it's like an abandoned backpack, or or something like that. Um, I feel like the message is unclear. It is unclear. Um, and there's, because this is like a process I'm getting, 
like a pattern recognition I'm getting um, with this golden stool. You know, I feel like you're, and then here now, and this butterfly is like focusing in on the now. Allow me, divine beloved, to rest in that holy space between what is and what will be. Let me fully embrace, relax, and let and bless the now. And so it's like asking you to just, you know, be in the moment and not worry about and it's like you're in this endless cycle of it's like pain and healing and then going through pain and then healing and you know there's a reason why this card flipped over um, it was in reverse and now it's upright and it's like I don't know this message is just coming through is like to be in the moment and to be in the now um, and to, you know, that's where the transformation happens. That's where the healing happens. Um, that's where the magic is. That's where the golden stool is. That's where the gold is, is now. It's not in ruminating or going round and round and spinning yourself out over this difficult situation, this breaking of this attachment. It was like a strong, strong attachment. And so it's almost like a hijacking of this reading um, this message that's coming in and I feel like it's the same way that your thoughts um, have sort of hijacked you um, yeah you know and I'm just getting something with this backpack it's like this it's like you know when you pack a backpack I'm thinking of packing a backpack to leave but you haven't left yet you know or packing a suitcase um I don't know I'm getting the example of you know people who have like some stuff that's already packed but they but it's like just in case they have to go it's like packing um you know when a woman is about to give birth like they have her 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 bag packed for the for the hospital but it's like not time to go yet. And anyways, like the message I'm getting with that is like the why is like it's not time yet. Right now you're just packing the bag or it's being packed for you or um, something's being prepared for you. And when it's prepared for you, you're going to know why. Like it's not time to know why yet, you know. Um, so there's no point to spin yourself out. Um, and so there's this thing about finding peace in that um, and with deep emotions feelings past life influences it's like there's some stuff that goes really deep um, it goes very very deep and this attachment goes very deep um, you know if you believe in past life influences then there's some stuff going on like I said this is unclear um, but there's this need to accept accept it now and then that's where um, the reward comes in that's where the answer comes in that's where this golden stool comes in you know to understand what this conflict was really about it's not going to come through ruminating over it or spinning yourself out it's going to come from sort of accepting it and um, embracing that space between you know what happened and what's coming you know and just embracing that so so unfortunately that I mean I don't want to say unfortunately I know that those of you who have clicked on this reading and have made it to this pile were probably looking for an answer but that is the answer you know um, that is the answer um, yeah that's the answer okay so that's the answer group four if you like this reading please Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.